Grr, I'm good to go. That's the spirit mushroom man. Hello guys, I'm the Gamer Raider 10, and welcome back to more Super Luigi Galaxy. I didn't know if I wanted to say let's play or not. In the last episode, we took care of a lot of prankster comets, and well, we got introduced to prankster comets in general. And we met this little horrifying creature who told us all about it. And we got a few new stars, we even took care of a minor galaxy in the fountain. So, yeah, in this episode, I would like to point out, probably for the rest of the series, I am not going to talk to Mailto because, well, having 20 lives is good and all, but, you know what, it's not as entertaining if, they're, if the stakes aren't as high, so, yeah. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to be continuing the terrace. Now, we're not going to be continuing the terrace because there's nothing for us to do there. We're going to be continuing the fountain, or the bathroom in Japan, and we're going to be taking care of Space Junk Galaxy and passing on to another one of my favorite galaxies. If you couldn't tell, I really like the fountain as a second world. And hey, it's not desert themed. Anyway... Fly into space junk. Now, you see that giant thing in the center? Bit of a spoiler, but that's where we're going next. Terran Tox's Tangled Web. If you couldn't guess, this is the boss of this stage. World. Level. Whatever. And that planet we passed by in the first mission is there, and it looks like they took over the Hokotate ship. Yeah. Oh, for a second I thought Space Junk Road was not going to be playing. Um, there's no one in this starshroom. What do you say? Brave Brigade Toad went to search for the Power Star. I don't know what he said, but you know what? I don't care. He went off to that planet and has been and has been seen since. You think he's okay? I, I mean, I think. I, I can't confirm. Let's take care of these spoings here. Um... Ow! Excuse me! I was trying to find something to say, but it, meanwhile this guy just hit me. Anyway, so I don't really have a lot to talk about in the way of, uh, in the way of recording, so... Uh, excuse me, sir! Excuse me! Thank you! Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so Christmas is coming up in a week since I'm recording this. Well, technically six days since it just passed midnight. Um, yeah, so well, right now we're taking Polestar Path. So, uh, I'm feeling pretty good for myself. Oh, uh, this Hungry Luma. It's gonna, uh, he's going to be, it... He, I don't, I don't freaking know the genders. I assume most of them are she's. Um, he's gonna be important for, for later. Um, I didn't actually mean to come down here. So let me look around the planet a little bit. I'm gonna cut ahead to when I come back. All right, I think I can clip through this thing. Well, I didn't see it. And I'm not gonna bother because it's not in a 2D space. But. I checked the planet, and well, there was nothing else. We can latch onto that pole star if we want to, but why? So, it really makes the question right now. Is this glass the atmosphere of this planet, or is, or is there just no atmosphere on this planet, and it's just glass? I don't know. It, it's food for thought, so... Collect that ring of star bits. Get th I think that Hungry Luma requires 50 star bits, and I... I have to know. Am I am I like the biggest nerd in history for knowing how many star bits this guy needs? Let's see. Need tasty star bits. Let's see. <laughs> was it? I was joking. I was joking when I said that. I... Ah. Okay. Good to know. He needs 50 star bits to curb his hunger pain, so we'll be sure to do that before we advance to the next galaxy. So I make it sound like it's a board game. 
Anyway, a little bit of a a little bit of a trick. I don't think I showed this in Good Egg Galaxy, which at least I could have sworn I didn't. If you walk into flowers uh, that are sparkling, they'll release star bits or sometimes even coins. So if I didn't mention it before, hooray! And if I did mention it before, yay! I'm a dumb I'm a dummy. So well, I mean, I was just what? It's kind of yeah. I've, um, what the Luigi? That was weird. Luigi got like stuck on the walls there. Okay, let's bust out of this planet, and I don't think you can see what the planet looks like. Bust out. By the way, you launch into one of those, and it gives you a bunch of stuff. And that was totally a small planetoid there. And this is where we saw the preview. Um, I don't think you're gonna get me this time. Excuse me. There we go. Um. Oh, these things. These things are really, really weird. Uh. Stuck in your star pointer at me and press A to pull me out. If I remember... And I just realized just how phallic this thing, this planet looks like. If I remember correctly, there is no way for this... I think this toad is just gonna... Fall to another planet. Toad? Toad. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I thought I actually killed him. <laughs> I legitimately thought I killed him. I didn't think. <laughs> At least, he, at least gravity really works out well for him. <laughs> okay, normally I'm pretty sure if you launch Luigi in that direction, he gets killed. But okay, the, uh, what do you, what I'm standing at, what I'm st stuck in right now is called the sling pod. Sling pods, you point at them with your star pointer, press A, and then hold to make them launch you in a certain direction. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're just kind of there. You, you walk up to them and you get stuck in them, but do I die? Well, good, th good to know I wasn't responsible for murder. Alright, I'm gonna cut it. I'm just gonna cut ahead to when I save that toad again. And you are not getting me this time, Spoin. You neither. Alright, so now that he's safe, um, at least I. Aw oh, man, I wasn't sure if he actually made it or not, but... Oh well, so yeah, you die if you go to where that toad was. Wow, what, what, what perfection. Thanks, uh... Like what perfection I made it onto the toad's head. What is this from? Is that from a UFO? I mean, obviously it is, but... You know, it, it's kind of weird, it... You know... Mario and everyone's... The Mushroom Kingdom's not the only place with sentient beings in the universe. Um, right here is a life shroom, so be sure to grab that. Um, sorry, Alamar and Louie, you're kind of not on my list of people to save today. And plus, you're not even in this game, so... Yeah. Anyway. Just jump. Excuse me, sir. Anyway. Um, I guess I could talk about something else. I finally got my disk drive repaired. Sort of. It's extremely loud now, so the only reason you're not hearing is because I'm using uh, my hard drive to load this game. Technically, it's my dad's hard drive, but whatever. And yeah, it's not exactly the best to record with right now, but anyway. And it still has trouble reading we or GameCube games, but that might just be a fault of the games themselves. Either way, let's just go... Let, excuse me, I very clearly pressed A on that. Let's just go into this planet thing and... They gasp. Uh, one of the few times that your pointer actually interacts with something in this game, yet... In the beta for Super Mario Galaxy, actually, or Super Luigi Galaxy, whatever, your pointer was able to interact with a lot more. 
in the environment. Here it just kind of interacts a little bit with the sling pods. We can free these coins. Oh, yeah, you can. You uh, press A while your pointer's on them. You can break these things to get coins, but that's not what's important right now. Let's just jump into this. It's a little bit... Is it tricky as Mario? I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. What do you say? Eek, Luigi! What is this thing? Um, good question. I have a feeling we're about to find out, and maybe the level preview actually told us. So, let's see. So, let's smash into this and... Oh god, I hate bugs! This is Terran Tox. He's a pretty weird boss, I suppose. I guess he's the boss of those coins? Question mark? What you're supposed to do, he spits acid at you. At least, I assume that's acid. And Nintendo would have it be called slime. You kind of pop his little zit-looking things here. Uh, you can get a few star bits from from them, and that kind of does something for you. You can get star bits from that, but what you want to do is hit his bum, and then that flips him over, which causes excuse me, Luigi, Luigi, thank you. That causes him to reveal his spots on his belly. You want to be sure you're fast about this, because he doesn't actually stay down forever. Uh, he'll become more and more sporadic as he's um, as he's about to come out of this. So, Whoa! got him. All right. So now he grows those back, and he is well. He's not red with rage, but he is pretty angry, I imagine. So now the so now his acid goo. What? Ow! Excuse me. So now his acid goo, whatever, pops out of those little zits on his back, so... Generally, you want to wait until this, until the acid is done is done going. Um... Oh! Who the hell did I hit that? Wow! Anyway, um, you just want to wait until you get a clear vantage point of his back, and then rinse and repeat. So... <coughs> excuse me, just kind of there but anyway easy boss and wow that went far completely forgot how far that went but anyway not a hard boss at all so what you're supposed to do what do you say now oh you don't talk now I see you're, you're too much in awe of my glorious mustache what you're supposed to do is use a sling pod to get into the star here so star is ours yaha And with all that, we're not done with Space Jump Galaxy. There is one more mission to take care of. If you remember that Hungry Luma, there's one outside too. I guess we'll take care of that in this episode as well. If you remember that Hungry Luma over on that glass planet was over on that gas, um, gas planet. What the hell? This isn't Jupiter. It was over on that glass planet, so... And wanted 50 star bits that I somehow estimated completely correctly. So... Yeah, we'll take care of that. <clears throat> I'll meet you guys over by that Hungry Luma, where we'll... Feed him, alright? But I thought I'd mention... These crystals do... The bottom of these crystals have no collision detection, so... Yeah, they're just kind of there. Anyway, back to the Hungry Luma. Also, something I forgot to mention in Mission 3 proper. You can... You use those... If you're lost, you can use those wooden planks to... Uh, find your way back, or... <clears throat> well, they lead right to where you gotta go anyway, so... Anyway, now that we have 54 star bits... Anything is... I... There's a face that... There is a certain character that's been absent in this game thus far. So we need 50 star bits. Let's get in front of him. Let's get in front of him. Thank you. Anyway, 50 pieces of candy makes you that fat. Your metabolism sucks ass. Alright. 
Anyway, check it out! It's Yoshi! And we have a launch star right to his face. Careful, he breathes fire, so we're, we're partying like it's Super Smash Bros. This is Yoshi's only appearance in Super Mario Galaxy. So, so say hi to him when you can. Now, what's really weird here, these Goombas, you see, you saw that number just now. That counter, that's obviously a counter for how many Goombas you've stomped in succession, has absolutely, positively, no purpose. It literally has no purpose other than just, hey, how many Goombas have you stomped in one whole thing? And that's it. So, yeah, it's just there. These Goombas don't drop coins, they don't drop star bits. So, it's kind of weird, honestly. I won't exactly call it bad game design, but just weird game design. Just... Oh, yeah. I I'm trying to wrap my head around it right now. I, I, I can't. Anyway, uh, these... Oh my god, he still shoots fire. And if you zoom in on Yoshi's eyes, you'll see... Oh, those are reflections! I thought his eyes, like, when you came up to them, they turned gray. I thought, I didn't know those were reflections. How, how did I not know that? Anyway, with that, uh, my recording is at 18 minutes. It's not so bad. Yoshi's unexpected appearance. Oh, God. So, with that, uh, let me think here. Because I don't want to do a minor galaxy before we even do the next major galaxy. And we did a, and we did a minor galaxy in the middle of space junk. Um, let me think here, actually. Because I want to take care of the Hungry Luma galaxy. But there's also that next major galaxy. You know what? We will go do that Hungry Luma Galaxy right now. Or actually... No. No, 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 no. We will save Hungry Luma Galaxies for the end of domes. Alright, I don't I don't think I did that for the Terrace. But that's how, but that's how it's going to be from here on out. By the way, that's... That pole star pole is literally just a lot uh, longer than. Yeah, it's just a lot longer th than normally. But anyway, um, I actually forget what this minor galaxy is. I'm not gonna reveal it just yet, but let's go to this galaxy, shall we? Again, I freaking love this galaxy, Battle Rock Galaxy. Giant rock in space that's been weaponized for battle. All troops, move out! I promise to never do Pitt's voice again. Anyway, Battle Rock Barrage. I love this galaxy just for what it is. It's just, it's just this asteroid or moon that's orbiting above a massive, what looks like a gas giant. Which is really imposing when you realize its size is probably comparable to that of Jupiter's, if not larger. And it's just some civilization long before we got here weaponized this asteroid and made a fortress out of it. It's really, really cool. But what also is really cool is the music. Just give it a listen.
normally I don't say that quiet for that long to just to let you listen to a song, but this song is special. It's one of my favorites. <coughs> it's one of my favorites in this entire game. Anyway, it, it just makes you feel like you're going off to a to an actual battle or something, like you're just marching. And it's actually a re it's actually a remix of a song we've already heard. Heck, we so we heard that song in Space Jones right before we got here. It's just really cool. But anyway, this part, I love screwing with the gravity on these discs. Because the gravity, like, mixes between every single disc. And it's just cro- Look at that long jump, dude! Just to get from that platform to this one here. It it's really cool. But anyway, those enemies over there that I was spinning into, those were... I have no idea what their name is, and I'm not sure if future me, is, while editing this, is going to look up the names. I call I'll call them mini top men. They will actually they will spin into you or no not top not mini top men. I'm gonna call them top children. Top children will spin into you and will uh they'll spin into you and cause you to spin around and just and just stun you for a little bit and you spin to you spin to get rid of them. So they're kind of unpredictable in how they move. So be careful of that. Anyway, uh take care of this astro Roomba. Roomba, what the hell? There are also Starbits along the Battle Rock. Uh, hey, I know you. I didn't like you at all in that one galaxy. Uh, in Flip Switch Galaxy. But there are Starbits along the Battle Rock. If you're really adamant about getting the Starbits, you really want to grab them before you screw the screw in. But anyway, so begins the Battle Rock Barrage. Quick tidbit, those cannonballs. If you shoot them with Starbits, they turn into coins, so... Just be wary of that. Also, if you notice, apparently this apparently this rock has been in battle before. See, they turn into coins. You can see a few of the cannons are broken, so... Kind of a little... Kind of interesting, actually. I wonder if there's actually a fanfiction about battle rocks usage before. By the way, by the way, there's a really jerkish use of this... of battle rock... of this, um... of battle rock barrage later in the game. So, just be wary of that. Which, by the way, that thing I've been hyping up... Um, oh, oh I forgot that this... That is question mark coin does that. That thing I've been hyping up, it's one of my favorite things in the game, but also one of my least favorite. It really just depends on where I'm at. Well, and you'll see what I mean by that in a bit. Anyway... Um, aww, oh, I just... I just noticed those. They're really American flag colors! Come on, man, um... These cannonballs, not hard to avoid. See, look at that. I didn't even get hit on the way over here. <clears throat> but anyway. Uh, hit spinning these mini Goombas for no reason whatsoever. I mean, they give you a coin regardless of whether you stomp them or spin into them. Uh, you can see the stars in there. And if you remember from, from, Bow from Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. But bombs what the hell? Bullet bills are all... Um, they're all, uh... God, they're all homing, is what I'm trying to say. Um, if I remember correctly, there's a one-up underneath here. Later on, pay attention to this later on, by the way, this area, because this is going to be important later. Uh, it's not important right now, but it's important later, is what I'm going to say. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to lure these bullet bills over to these cages, specifically to that one where my cursor it where my pointer is um I'm just gonna break all these and show what's in them these two uh, this one had coins star bits star bits and then over here we have a spring that I believe leads to a to an next to a estimation block what the hell to a question mark block that has a bunch of star bits in it that has a bunch of star bits in it hey 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 what do you think you're doing excuse me sir thank you so let's go ahead and get that one up. That one up's actually trickier to get than the star, if you ask me, because you gotta hope to God that the bullet bill's not a complete idiot. Hey, look at that! I did it on the first try. Uh, nine lives. I am Cat Luigi. Long before Super Mario 3D World even released. Anyway, now that I've shown what's all what's in all those cages and how to get them, let's get the star. Careful with the star because this platform is rotating and can kind of throw you off. But anyway, not hard at all. Holy motor mouth! I have not said that much without stuttering before. So. Well, in that case, I'm gonna take a drink and take it away, Luigi. Huh? 
All right, 20 stars. We are... I'm not going to say how many stars are... Okay, you know what? It's a, it's a Mario. It's a Mario game before Odyssey. It has 120 stars in it. So we're sixth, we're the sixth of the way through the game. Sort of. <clears throat> anyway, with all that, we completed Space Junk Galaxy. Had a hungry Luma over next to the fountain. And we started a new galaxy, which is one of my favorites, in Battle Rock Galaxy. So, yeah, I'd say we made pretty good progress today. We got three stars, not too bad, not too bad. Next time on Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy, we are going to... Oh, you can't wall jump off of this. Who are you Wow, well, the camera actually pans here. We are going to go back to Battle Rock and get the last two stars there. Maybe take care of the prankster comment. And then we are going to unlock this minor galaxy. And then after that, it's off to face the boss. Alright, see you guys in the next episode. Aw, oh, man. I hate it when my tootsie footsies get all wet. <laughs>